This is Eva. Eva is a young Munsterlander who loves nothing better than to run around and be active. In 2017, an accident broke Eva's leg, something which could happen to any dog or person. In the accident, Eva's leg was broken or fractured and in our small animal hospital in Glasgow we repaired the damage using a metal plate and screws. Unfortunately, because of an infection, the fracture failed to, failed to heal. When a fracture doesn't heal and becomes a non-union, we have a very difficult problem to solve. And because we thought it was so unlikely that we would manage to, to heal Eva's broken bone using conventional repair techniques, we were seriously considering removing or, or amputating the, her, the affected leg. Um, However, we, we then heard about the biomaterials that were being developed um, in Professor Samaran Sanchez's lab and we decided to, to try to use these materials to, to try to save the leg. Fortunately, the surgery was a big success and Eva's now running around as she was before. Our group studies how cells interact with the environment, including biomaterials. Our goal is to engineer biomaterials to guide cells uh, repair damaged tissues such as bone. We work with a variety of biomaterials including hydrogels, scaffolds and even unconventional materials based on bacteria that send signals to help cells start the process of tissue repair. We even use 3D printing when we need to replace large pieces of missing bone. Uh, all these synthetic materials are not biologically active and we add functionality by using very powerful proteins called growth factors. The internal structure of bone is highly complex with many pores and connections and many types of cells living there. When we break a bone Cells called osteoblasts move into the gap to repair the damage by depositing collagen and calcium phosphate. Sometimes the fracture is larger and surgeons use bone graft to help fill the gap, providing a bridge for the cells to cross. Unfortunately, Eva's cells needed more than just a bridge. The team used bone graft coated with a polymer and growth factors. This was enough to stimulate Eva's bone cells to enter and repair the damaged area. Six weeks after surgery, Eva's leg had fully healed. The team at Glasgow hope this type of biomaterial will soon be trialled in humans with similar injuries to Eva.